Well, I'm the MA course leader in fine art, and this is the, it's, it's been two things. It's the assessment of the MA uh, programme, but they also have a public exhibition to present their work to the public. The MA show uh, embraces two MA programmes. We have an MA in studio practice, which is a general broad-based fine art programme where students make uh, paintings, videos or sculpture or installations, printmaking. The other MA, and they're both inextricably linked, is about artists engaging in the public domain. It's called Site and Archive Intervention, and it's artists who uh, see their work intervening in terms of public art, uh, maybe socially engaged practices, working with community groups, uh, facilitating projects in the public generally, or maybe working in institutions, looking at how culture is disseminated to audiences and trying to intervene to change things, to make things more interesting and exciting. And we have the two exhibitions, uh, or two bodies of work side by side, and to a certain extent they inform each other. Contemporary art now is always questioning um, not only how to make work, but where to show it, where to present it. So artists and studio practice are looking at questions of audience, how you engage with the public, and obviously site and archive students are working outside. So some of the work from site and archive students is a documentation of real events. And then we have other artists who are printmakers who are working in more established traditions. So we think it's quite important and healthy for the course that there's all these different strands of contemporary art where students are working side by side but informing each other, criticising each other. So painters, for example, have to think about what painting means in a media age and maybe media, video artists have to think about the role of aesthetics in terms of how do you make a film or how do you make a video. But lifelong learning has always been a core principle, I think, of academics at this university, that uh, widening participation, encouraging people from a whole range of backgrounds. I mean, one of the things that's interesting about the MA, we don't always take students directly from BA Fine Art courses. A lot of people, particularly if they're doing the site and archive, uh, intervention course, maybe geographers sometimes worked in, in more social sort of ways, uh, worked for local authorities. I mean we have uh, one student at the moment on the first year who works for Lancashire Care who are doing community projects and now starting to use art in that sense. Um, so in a, you know, the art programme can be a development from a whole range of different backgrounds. And at the end of the day, students make a project proposal uh, to apply to the MA course and we assess that on how interesting it is. Um, their age is irrelevant. I mean, to a certain extent, the, the advantage of having a wide variety of students is that students with more experience can inform uh, students who are much younger. When you're 22, it's very difficult to have an opinion on the world, to be engaged with politics or social issues, which artists invariably are. Having somebody like Jeff, who's worked in special needs all his life, he's very interesting to talk about the development of special needs education. And it's interesting how that might inform somebody else's practice or influence them. So it's never too late. <laughs>